Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome back to what is going to be our last series of the night here. Rafa, of course, finally making his return as he'll face off versus Chain for you. More NA boys to close out the day. You know that I love it. You know that I'm a fan, Jackie. Oh, hell yeah, man. Absolutely so. Rightly deserved. Obviously, uh, Rafa has been competing in the Quake Pro League, but we haven't seen it during the weekly broadcasts. He's been playing his games offline, obviously taking that time to uh, for himself. We do have the results, though, for you that we can go over here just to give a, a little bit of backstory about obviously what's been going on in the downtime where we haven't seen him on our screens week in, week out. He played his game versus Saigib, and that was a 2-1 victory. He lost the initial map going down 17-18, to but he won the the following two 17 to 9 and 14 to 1 he then got a frio victory over dewey as well and that was a 14 to 12 to 4 and 15 to 4 and just so everyone at home knows 17 to 18 on what map because that is a ludicrous scoreline that is ridiculous um i was told by the wonderful producer reese but i, I didn't write it down uh, i'm we'll assuming see if a corrupted i'm assuming a smaller map We'll Potentially see. so. But yeah, that is uh, that is a ridiculous state of affairs. But obviously very close games there for him. A little bit more dominant versus Dewey. Although, talking of close games, Chain, he had a free O versus Effortless. But apparently that was quite close in the region of one frag deciders between those maps as well, as that was also played offline. Um, so obviously that's a little bit of a quick roundup about what these two have been up to since we haven't really seen them. Getting back up to speed, but uh, the time is now. Rafa versus yeah. Chain in this set. Uh, gut reaction? Jackie, I'm putting your uh, feet to the fire as always. Immediately off the back, i got to give it to the main man himself. I feel like Shane is still that unbelievable force of Quake that we've never really seen anyone else come up to the level he established, right? And uh, hopefully, obviously, you know, finally being able to get him see him, see him compete again. I want to see some of that classic Rafa action because there's there's been a bit of a you know a, a hole missing in my heart. So I'm glad to obviously get to see him compete again. Absolutely, man. It's going to be a treat to have him back. Uh, arguably one of the best, if not the best, Quake players of all time. I know some people are in the Cipher camp, some people are in the Cooler camp. At the very least, top three all time throughout the franchise. It's going to be a pleasure to watch the professor kind of lay it down. Yeah, no, it will certainly be good to have him come back into the league and obviously competing once again. Hopefully we get some of those majestic moments that we're used to seeing from him. However, we can't put our nose up against his competition. Chain, a young man that has been improving greatly season after season, right? I think we've been talking more and more about how good he's been getting and how much impact he's been having on the server. He's had some huge runs, some deep tournament runs that have been looking better as well at the last stage finals where he was beaten only by DeHang to stop him before he would have got himself into really quite a good position um chain's an interesting character man like it feels like there's so much potential there and he's tapping into it it's incredible to watch so this this could be quite a momentum uh a, mo uh, a monumental mashup between the two of them honestly 40. absolutely i mean chain has started you know evolving into this player where he's beating people that people don't really expect chain to beat and it's kind of you know head turning like what he just he just beat cooler and stuff like that at big events too so chain is on the come up right now and he has no signs of stopping so this should be a great set yeah no it really should be honestly uh, i can't wait to kick this one off let's get straight into the picks and bands then and start to dissect this one a little bit more in terms of what we've got to open us off here it is going to be awoken with a ranger pick coming out for chain and the doom slayer himself for rafa you know the professor is not afraid to say the doom guy on this map is the most important because you can control the middle of the map and that's exactly what we're going to see from rafa chain on that ranger the orb again we could see different styles of play coming out be it defensive telegraphed item plays or just all out aggression on offense then going into veil we got sorlag and scale a game of thickness on that one and then we're going to round it out with corrupted keep we got anarchy and we got slash that should be fast flying action on that small map that's very exciting man well, that veil game is going to be something else um <laughs> ridiculous champion picks for what is already quite a ridiculous map in the way it's played and how it differs from everything else that's in the pool right so that could be a bit more of an asterisk on the the overall maps i think that one's certainly going to have some spice to it 
Oh yeah, looking forward to it. Uh, I would be a little disturbed if I didn't say that everyone should be down with the thickness on that map, Sorlag versus Scale. It's going to be pretty good. It will be. It certainly will be. It's always fun watching that big girl do disgusting things on the server when Sorlag is in play, especially, of course, going up against the Scale Bearer. Uh, let's bring it back to the first map in the series for now, at least, though, as Chain is about to take on Rafa on Awoken. As we get into this, then, Ranger versus Doomslayer. Where's this going? Oh. Looks like Rail up the bum to start off as he will claim the Mega. Rafa tries to force his way up the jump pad, needs to be careful, nails out. And there's the punches to escape as a chain putting the pressure on with the Dire Orb and LG here. Quick skirmish right off the bat. Rafa's going to restack in the middle off that 50 armor. And again, just peppering nails whenever you can to try and keep chain at bay. And it looks like they're going to trade items again. What a rail through the drive through window there from Rafa. There's the rocket jump up. He wants to get aggressive here. Beautiful double jump to claim the Mega so fast on the rotate now. Chain needs to be careful not to get caught out in Banana. He doesn't really have anywhere else to go as Rafa's just kind of stalking his prey right now. Here's the footstep. There's one rocket. Should end it with LG. There's the orb to try and save him. But the attempts were dire. As Rafa will put up his first frag a minute into the game. A nice response back into the action. And a good way for Rafa to kick things off here. Makes his move back over towards the heavy as well, just as it spawns in. They are actually going to have a bit of a bust stop here and a brawl over control Ooh. of the Mega. He takes him down at the last possible second before Chain would have been able to start step his way onto it and actually rebuild that stack. Rafa then sprints his way over as well to gather some more of the light armor pickups to build himself back up. Although you wouldn't realize as his stack has just been annihilated there by Chain. Rafa with a great start right now. Wants to get in on this heavy. Does a good job of dodging that rail. Not the second one, but he does get some good LG damage out. Needs to be careful. He's going to go through the telly as he hears the dire orb towards the T-Con. Committed by Chain. Another rail, but the LG isn't going to be strong enough. That's going to force Chain back. He does grab the Mega. A little bit of tribal. Almost gets the exit rail. Oh, but he gets caught out in banana and all that potassium. Just an overdose, Jackie. 3-0 for Rafa. What's the radiation, isn't it? If you eat too many bananas. That's just science. Man. Yeah. That's slipped that's, on the peel, it looked like. That's backed up by science. Probably on Wikipedia somewhere. Uh, Rafa going straight in once again, though, with the rockets coming out. Lovely transition to the rail as well to do even more damage. So it's 3 0, but he's looking for the 4 0. He's hungering for it, and his belly is rumbling as he looks for the peak to come across. Chain for right now. Just bouncing about, making his presence known as he shoots Ooh. out the dire orb. <sighs> Oh, and it goes straight through Rafa. Like a bad order from Taco Bell. Is there such a thing? I'm not sure, but that's going to net chain his first frag. Three to one. Is Rafa trying to get back on this Mega? The rocket's coming in. Chain doing his best with the LG to force his way onto it. Does secure it. Now Rafa lying in wait, controlling again the middle of the map. That's a good rocket from up above. Oh, and he almost reads that perfectly. The timing on that second rocket. Almost in the bread basket of chain now. It stacks about even, and the fight erupts for heavy. LG into a great rail from chain. Rafa on 20 HP needs to be careful. Doesn't have much to stack up off of. In the middle, he's going to grab a 25, but he's going to lose out on the Mega, and the LG from chain is going to be too much, overpowering the Sausage King of Chicago. Three to two. Still has the lead by one, and he's going to go on the offensive. He wants this LG. He wanted to get a little bit of machine gun damage on the way out, but Chain doing a good job forcing his way back into competition. Chain goes for the peekaboo shot with the rail. Doesn't quite land it just yet, though. He is just waiting to see if Rafa will drop down and attempt to snatch the heavy. He baits him out with the shot and takes a bit too much damage, knowing that he needs to recoil and reset, repositions himself towards the Mega. Chip after chip, though. Rafa is punishing him with all of these shots and keeping his HP relatively low. He does have the Dire Orb as the trick up his sleeve, if necessary. He can pull it out and attempt to really send some sparks flying. Good adjustment with the railgun as he comes out. He's only got one rocket and four rails, though, so he's starting to run low on ammunition. At least he could rebuild the ammunition on the rail for now. That's the one beneficial factor he has as Rafa comes high flying around the corner and the Bratwurst Bruiser will deal with him. Not afraid to take that fight. Times it perfectly, wins it out, and has the Mega as his reward for it, a two. For Rafa right now. 
He makes his way back to the T-Con, avoids some tribal. Ooh, and that's a decent rocket there into LG. Now he has the shotgun out, has a 50 shard as well. He does such a good job of knowing when to restack in the middle of the fight, and that just leaves you absolutely crippled here. The Dire Orb is a bit of misdirection, but the Mega's not going to be up in time, is it? Catches it at the last second. The LG up the jump pad as Rafa gets aggressive, and Chain goes back up with the Tribal, trying to finish the job, but the LG from Rafa's just too strong. Rafa beginning to build that lead once more. Putting himself into a good position. Just spamming with the nails as well. Expecting the pre-fire punishment to play off for him. Instead, it's the Tribolt that does damage. Good predictive adjustment. Goes back round towards the murder hole. Bounces up like he's on a trampoline, jumping for joy. Oh no! He sends himself flying. Vertically dodges the dire orb attack that came through from Chain. And buckles him. I, I said that was, he's, he's like Neo. He's dodging dire orbs That's as Rafa is just... It's so bad. I don't even know. That's crazy. Six to two. As Rafa slowly putting the pedal to the metal here, widening the gap. He's going to make his way onto the heavy chain, lingering nearby at the very least, trying to get timing of the item here. Gets a good little rail on the way out, but that actually propels Rafa forward, and he should be here. Beats chain to the mega as well with that rocket. That's going to send him packing. Rafa. Again, at this point, basically just hunting. Oh, the rocket's round the corner. He's just going to be slapping Chain about the place, knowing how low and lifeless he is. He had to use the Dire Orb as an escape tactic to barely create some space between the both of them. Or again, he would have been left sleeping with the fishes. The rocket's coming round towards Banana. He's only got one rail left in reserve. But he certainly struck fear into the heart of Chain. Rafa gathering all of the items he can to stack back up. Denying all the 50 shards, anything he can. So he does have the slight edge in stack. Chain playing very slow. The time is ticking. He's got to find a way back in as heavy again goes to Rafa, adding to the stack. The four frag lead coming back to haunt Chain, and so are these tri as he's just getting peppered with damage. The shotgun up the jump pad is it going to be enough. Swaps to rail last second, picks up the heavy, or excuse me, the mega, and now he should be able to finish this chain hanging on by a thread. Eight HP on that shotgun. He, he has like three HP. There's a 25, but he's going to get caught out of the drive through window. There's the dire orb. Somehow escapes Chain. Ooh. Somehow survives, hits a defensive rail, and this is insane right now. I don't know how he's actually been able to get away from that. It felt like that was it. You know, Rafa had finally teed himself up like some kind of killing golf ball and was ready for the final hit to just take him down. But instead, he misses with the rail chain, stays alive for now. But is it just a matter of delaying the inevitable? His stack is so much lower compared to what Shane has built up. Up on top of the ledge. There it is. Rafa deals with him. His chain will hit the D-E-C-K. He is not going to be breathing anymore. Really well done to stay alive, but all for not in the end here. Seven to two, two minutes left. That's a good rail from Chain, but he's got to start stringing them more together. There's a second one, almost a third, but Rafa's just running the map right now. Complete control over the heavy and Mega. There's another rail coming out from Chain. He's doing decent damage, but he's got to get in on these frags. A minute 30, five frags down. Chain doesn't have the luxury of just sitting back and railing, but that's exactly what he's doing, and it's starting to chip away at Rafa's stack, and that's going to send Rafa packing away from the heavy. And Chain Ooh. gets one through the telly, doubles back for the heavy, and that's definitely a good opening. But just like that, Rafa spawns right back on his railgun and gives Chain a little bit of his own medicine. Trying to chase him down once more. Three rounds left in the rail. Shotgun is out. Through the teleporter, Ooh. fires up the shot, and that's the ring out! Oh no, Rafa! He's been sent flying like a first class stab. I thought it was gonna happen again. There's oh, a dire no, for the cutoff, the shotgun push. Rafa needs to be careful. He's gonna back up into some HP, and the LG's gonna be strong enough. That could have been the play. That would have made things very interesting, but now Rafa hits another defensive rail, jumps over that rocket, and it looks like things are smoothing out, slowing down a little bit, and this should be Rafa's map secured. But for a second there, chain was making it very very interesting 
Oh, he wants it. And there it is. The knockout punch. The KO from the Sausage King. Nine to four. Yeah, it's it's over. This is it. That could have turned around in in banana. That play, that push with the dire orb shotgun combo. Maybe if he takes that dire orb, kind of throws Rafa off a little bit. That could have been it. But Rafa puts a stop to that, and he wins the first map nine to four in the series. Close one. It was it was quite a tight affair. Um... Still a good match at the very least. Obviously, twists and turns there. The power struggle. It was good to watch, but it is going to be a victory in the end for Rafa on the first map of the series. Locks it down on Awoken, looking quite dominant as well. He uh, he certainly put Chain in his place for a few moments. Yeah, the professor makes it look pretty textbook on that. Even when he's kind of out of control and wavering a little bit, he yeah. kind of, you know, he's not afraid to just do what he needs to do to get back in control and just kind of run the items on the map. And, uh, I, his aim is nothing to sleep on. I know Rafa historically has been more of a player that plays around items and positioning, but like when his aim is on too, it's even more scary. He slaps, man. Like he, he can do an awful lot of work. Quite he literally with the weapons. Him, guys. Well, oh, it's more dude. of a punch, really. But yeah. yeah. Quite an aggressive fist if it, you know, hits you in the wrong place. It's not ideal for you. You don't, nobody wants to get punched in the face. I don't know. Maybe some people do, but you know, that's none of my business. But if you, you on your own face, time is your own business. Oh, yeah. Mm. Look at it. And there it is right there. Whew. Especially the momentum you get off a trampoline to just punch someone in the face like that. No, thank you. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. no, sir. Don't want. It's not good. It's not good. White socks slipping down. Shoes will win a line. Bouncy, bouncy. It was such a good time. And that's what he did. Straight off the bounce pad for the frag. Uh, a lovely little occasion we had there towards the end. That is the way the first map will go down. Obviously, more to come. Going into it now, Veil. Vale. This was the map that we looked at and kind of went, all right, this is, you know, this is the real spicy one they've thrown into the middle. Oh, yeah. This is the thick one right here. Yeah. I'm very excited. Veil vale of Nath. We got Sorlag. We got Scale Bear. Just a battle of the stacks, really. It's very exciting. All mm -hmm. oh, the Fickies are out on force here. Uh, obviously, Sawlag in play there for Chain, and Rafa coming out with the Scale Bearer. The Bull Rush is going to be uh, quite a prevalent point, I feel like. It does need to be careful, though. Sorlag spit is brutal, especially when it all lands, and then the rest of the map, too. Blinded, backing up into more acid. It could be a nightmare, but I'm sure Rafa has something planned, and uh, considering all of that. He is the professor. He's got... He's got. Um, I don't even know what it's called. I don't even know what it's called, so let's just get into the game, because I forget everything that are his words right now, so... He's got those little... Uh, what are they called? You know, the little shoulder pads on your sleeves? Probably got some of those. Just shoulder pad? Well, actually, to be fair, they'd be sleeve pads, wouldn't they? Because if they were shoulder pads, they'd be on your shoulders. So, who really knows? I don't think we're very good at Syllabus, talking. Syllabus, that's what it is. All right. <laughs> I just forget things, Jackie. I don't know. It's been a long day, but it's going to start out 0 0 so far. Bull Rush already used. Spit as well. This thing's slowing down for these two players. Again, Rafa up one map as we saw him take Awoken. As always, going for the clean sweep. There's a rocket from down ab uh, above, raining down below. Goes through the telly. Rocket almost hits the follow-up rail. Steals away the mega. Grabs the 50 shard. Almost hits a rail. He needs to be very careful not to plus forward into that LG. Chain with a good weapon switch there to keep him at bay. Man, we're nearly a minute into this one already. Rafa. Trying to ready on the scale bearer, fires out the warning rockets. He tries to get the initial tags off. Playing on the high ground. 10 seconds until Heavy is up. Mega's going to be coming up very soon. And Chain was hoping to just hold directly on top of it, so when it was spawned, he'd be able to get it and get the additional help off the back of it. It won't matter, though, as Rafa wins out on the fight. Was hoping that he'd get both of the major items on the rotation, but he wasn't quick enough, so Chain at least picks up one. But he's still down on the first frag. But better on stack for now. Here comes Shane with the LG on LG. Almost gets a little bit of rocket splash there. Rafa making his way towards that lower 50 shard. The rail on the way out. Chain less than 25 HP. Struggling to survive. Six HP total. Just waiting on that mega. Very fortunate that Rafa doesn't have the stack to attack. But there's the nails sending him back. As he's now waiting in the Thunderdome here. He doesn't have a rail yet. Only two rockets to fight with. Needs to be careful as Rafa's on the hunt. Oh, 
Rafa. Darting his way around, playing with the momentum he's got built up currently. Mega's just spawned in. Heavy's up now. How's Rafa going to opt to play this? Obviously wanting to try and maximize the rotation on the major items. Instead, they'll probably split one apiece as they dart their way back over. He actually executes it perfectly with the rocket jump ups. That's both of the major items stolen this time around for Rafa. He's got that big stack to work with. And that's the dream scenario here. On a heavy versus heavy matchup like this, you want to try and have the bigger stack to be able to get into the fights. Unfortunately for him though, those close range shots coming out. They get him stuck in the alleyway. He can't get through the door, 40. Now they're back on a level pegging. Just too thick. Those doorways are your enemy with these champs. But there's the rocket jump up into bull rush to secure both items again. Rafa running the spawns for the second cycle. Chain trying to get some footing, some clawing, if you will. Trying to get that tail back. As uh, Rafa commanding one frag lead right now. And he's getting these time charts so he can get the bull rush back again and throw around that dinosaur if need be. Through the telly he goes, the spits out. Good shotgun damage, grabs the 25 to negate the deep, uh, the dots. A little bit of LG. Does give up the mega on this one. So Shane doing a good job of breaking the cycle here and leaving Rafa a bit stained as he's trying to stack back up. The rocket's preemptive, almost get him around the corner. Chain hits the rail first, and that'll tie it at one. Oh man, railgun coming out, popping off, shot after shot right now. They're tied up, frag a piece, and they're looking to try and see who'll be able to sink their teeth in. Big play from Chain. That was super nice. Knocking him up, keeping him locked in the air, lining up the shot on the rail transition as well. Huge combo. Very well executed. He's farming up the items as well, so he's building himself that nice stack. It's a sore lag. She can swing her weight around a little bit now. Use it to her advantage into these encounters. Good adjustment. The fast flick up with the vertical peak. Rafa charging in, trying to bull rush him down. He gets underlaid, hit with a red flag. Can't quite land the shoulder charge. Chain converts it into a frag. Three to one now as we're getting closer and closer to the midway point. Chain spots out the heavy, wants nothing to do with it. He's going to concede. Doesn't want to take any unnecessary damage here and don't wanna, doesn't want to lose any stack. But with rails like that, it's inevitable. He's going to double back to that 50 and Rafa smells it. He's going to drop down. Needs to be careful. Goes through the acid. Fearless is Rafa as he gets that frag back three to two. Trying to equalize now. Oh, the rocket timing. A thing yeah. of beauty by Rafa. There's the drop onto the heavy. How bad is it going to hurt? Drop it down behind the churro. The bull rush up close into the shotgun, but the spit takes him out in the trade in favor of Chain. Keeps that one frag lead. What a play. Oh, man. Absolutely disgusting. Spitting in public places, but it works out well for him, guaranteeing himself another frag. Almost actually getting a bit of a follow-up there. He's able to burn through so much stack on Rafa, leaving him low. Quite lifeless as well. You can execute back against him. The LG prodding him off of the heavy spawn. So he's forced to dash towards the mega. It depends on who gets the next shot off Rafa. The near miss on the rail. It could have very well have been a trade between the both of them. So unbelievably close. Mega goes to chain. It's going to be huge as this stack was really small and he just edges out the heavy two rails from Rafa. Make it three. The trifecta. Hit him with the three piece. Five to four. Rafa keeping it close, doing a good job of getting these refrags early to save him some time. What a rocket. It's only the one frag lead for Chain. Oh, that's a juicy two-piece, Jackie. That's going to yeah. tie it at five. I was going to say the scoreline can quickly fall back into a level footing. And that's just what Raph has done. All of the frags we've had there have just been so disgusting. Beautifully executed with the knock-up and the timing for the response as well on the rail. They're both fired up. They're hitting some huge shots. Playing very well. Drop down. Good read from Rafa. Knew exactly what he needed to do <laughs> and gets the ball rush off. Oh no. A little bit of rocket splash into bouncy bouncy. Rafa takes the lead six to five and that is one extinct dinosaur. Three minutes left.
Shane needs to be careful not to get caught out here. That rocket just barely clipping him a little bit. 24 damage on that one. At the very least, informational for Rafa as he knows Mega's next is going to come barging through the doors. Doesn't have Bull Rush to work with. The rail will clip the ledge. But he's going to drop down a little bit more damage. Just chipping away. That's a lot thicker now. He's going to drop down and finish with the shotgun doing his best Turok impression. Goes through, gets the Mega, and now he wants to double back from the Heavy, but a little bit too late. Chain's going to try and make his great escape through the Thunderdome. There's a rocket for defensive purposes, not going to land. And in the Thunderdome he goes, Bull Rush again! And Shane takes out Chain. Too much stack to chew through for that dinosaur. Yeah, unfortunately for that clever girl, she's not able to do enough here. And Rafa is just annihilating Chain at this point. The predictive play towards the teleporter as well, trying to punish him with the rocket shot after shot coming out. It was not enough. As Chain busts through the door, waving the 4-4. And Rafa's not going to be breathing anymore. Chain, adjustment back over towards the heavy as well. Picks it up, throws that vest on his chest. Let's see if he'll be looking fresh as he peeks with the rail. Beautiful snap there on the hurty verty. Great rail there from Rafa. Just gets a little bit of damage, falls back. Knows Mega's first. Now he's lying in wait here. Chain messing about in the rail room, trying to stack back up. Grabs the lower 50, making his way through the LG. He's going to eat a lot of LG. Spit comes out. Rafa detours towards the mid plane here. Heavy does go towards Chain, but time is ticking. Two frags down, a minute 15 left on the board. Rafa keeps high ground, just waiting patiently here for any possible onslaught from Chain. A minute left. 60 seconds is all the time Chain has to try and play with to get himself into the game here. Can he do it? Can he find two frags? Ready with the weaponry. I'm waiting to try and go for the play towards Mega. Good use of the propulsion there from the rocket. Sends himself flying through the porter. Comes out, picks up Mega. Ooh. Primed on the drop as well. Nice scope in to get the shot off and do a little bit of damage towards Rafa, chipping him when possible and keeping the stack in check. A little rocket splash from the ledge. Rafa just maintaining upper position. There's no reason to drop onto this one. And instead, he's forcing Chain to make the play. 30 seconds left, and Chain tries to rocket jump up. Nothing doing. No items left to grab as they're not up for another second. There it is. The Mega picked up. Heavy goes to Rafa, and that's going to be enough to close this one out, I think. Good defensive rocket in the rail. He has the bull rush if he needs to for the last 15 seconds, and Chain has to make something happen, but he's going to get absolutely decimated. Rocket, rocket, rocket into shotgun. He's going to call the GG. He knows this one's over. Rafa takes it eight to five. Two in a row for the professor on this one. And he's again, he's going for that clean sweep. Yeah, he wants it. He wants to keep himself firmly in the top spot. Obviously, I think he is like 100 points ahead of anyone else currently in rank one. So if he was to get himself another clean sweep, full 3-0, it would be a big boost to the points. And again, just put even more distance between him and Kilson, just keeping Kilson firmly locked into that second position, stopping him to be able to really catch up. Yeah, absolutely insane, the kind of point differential that he has. And, you know, knowing him, it's still not good enough. You know, he wants his name on that belt. If it were up to him, he'd have it four times already. But, you know, that just goes to show what a competitor he is. And he always wants to be number one, regardless of if it's points, or titles or whatever. He's always fighting. And it's just great to see him back. No, it, it truly is. Obviously, he does just strive for perfection. And uh, it, it is just a wonder to actually watch him play. Obviously, good to see as well. This is being kept close between his competitor in Chain. Obviously, Chain's had so much growth as a professional. And it's been wonderful to watch, uh, you know, really watch just how close this game's been with both of them having a bit of a mirror, ma mirror matchup here with the way they've been approaching it in terms of the champion picks and the way they've actually been playing for it. It's been damn good, mate. Yeah, looking forward to map number three. Again, it's always good to get some points. Chain's going to fight to the end on this one to try and play spoiler and also get some points for himself. And we got Runes of Sarnath, and we got Slash, and we got Anarchy. Two high-flying, super speedy mobile champs on probably one of the bigger maps that's a lot of fun to traverse and just kind of go flying around corners. I think it's going to be a great one, Jackie. Mate, it, it does kind of feel like the stars have aligned somewhat. And, you know, they've they've given us, like, the double bill of heavy, and then they've just gone, all right, we might as well go for it. You know, let's go for the Anarchy versus Slash, just just to appease everyone as, like, a comeback game, just to give everyone what they'd want, right? Oh, yeah, you hit them with the thickness, then you hit them with the quickness. I love it. I love it.
Oh, yeah, damn. These champions are thin, and it is going to be nice to uh, see them on the server for you. I thought you might enjoy that one. Oh, yeah. Love it. Big fan. Big fan. And this is going to be the last map of the day. It is. It is. It's the last map, the last duel that we're going to have for week five. So hopefully it lives up to our expectations. The entire day has been glorious. And let's see who's going to be bathing in glory Fight. here. The last chance saloon for Chain to get any points out of this. And for Rafa, will it be the full 3-0 or will there be a bump in the road? A little bit of a skirmish next to that LG. Already off the bat here, Chain trying to Play denial on this LG as best he can. He needs to be careful that he doesn't give up a frag for it. Does get forced off eventually. Wants those time charts so he can get some of that injection back. And this could be it right off the bat. 44 HP. Here comes the push from Rafa into the corner with the rockets. Chain had nowhere to go. That's a quick first frag. Rafa, one frag already to his name. Chain doing a little bit of damage at least as he comes around firing off the warning shots. Rafa just pre-fires, just holds it with the nails. Ooh, Chain. Can he get this peek off? Ooh, I think no. he saw the skateboard. Yeah, the front of the skateboard barely peeking out. Oh, but Rafa's so patient. He knows Chain wants that rail. What a dodge from Rafa. Flying over. Chain does grab the 50 shard, but the LG might be too much for him, and it is. That last tickle takes him down 2-0. So the trail is popped for a little bit of speed. Does get a snag on those skates, but does make it back to deny the rail once again here. And here's the push aggressively. Chain trying to fight for his life, and Ooh. the LG actually runs out. Chain gets the best of him. And that's a big threat to get him back into this before it snowballs out of control. But just like that, Rafa with the spawn gets down into the heavy with the machine gun out. Chain gets caught off guard. Back up two. That's the issue you run into, though. Straight off the back of the spawn, obviously. If you use a, f oh, you Ugh. lose a fight with such low stack, it's not going to work out well. Rafa trying to use the rail gun like a shotgun. Instead, it will be a railway sleeper as he sends Chain off to bed on that one, taking him down. This is uh, already quite worrying, as Rafa's quite clearly thriving in the moment right now, playing with the speed and the aggression. The tempo is reaching new heights. He might actually get himself both of the major items here on this rotation as well. So he'd have a gigantic stack to work with. He can pick that up, and he can just try and hunt, starve Chain out, and keep a sleeper hold on the items. Playing very quiet, just waiting for sound cues. Is it Rafa? Here's the inject. Doesn't get any rocket on the drive-by, but still up four to one here. Does have the trail up if need be. He's gonna make it around the corner, almost getting some LG. The movement from Roth is so crispy. The flicks almost on point there with that rail gun. He is gonna claim the mega, make his way through the telly over to the tribal for a potential cutoff. And Chain trying to slow things down. And I can respect that. You don't want this to snowball out of control. Again, Slash is an incredibly fast champion. Roth is so good on her. It's, yeah, it's very dangerous here. Even with three frags, it could spiral out of control very quickly. For Chain, he's looking quite timid here. Obviously, being on the back foot in terms of the items, not really getting himself a proficient stack to work with, right? He's just looking scared to death. He's scared to look. He's shook, 40, and he needs to get some courage back, as right now, Rafa, he's living at large with the confidence and he's just waiting, trying to see if he can catch wind of where exactly Chain is. Detects him on the peak up the stairs. Chain has to bail out. Predictive rocket from Rafa is incredible. As it will slap onto the skateboard and deny any potential ollies today. Absolutely focusing that deck. And Rafa's doing so good at just running these items, man. 7-1 to one in terms of heavies. 6-2 to two in terms of megas. Chain is just being starved of the items. And it's so brutal to deal with, and so is a shotgun up close, absolutely chunking him in half. Rafa just adding to the body count right now. Five to one, four minutes in, looking for more. Chain, he's on the back burner. Nothing's working well for him whatsoever. Rafa, however, with a shotgun. 
coming through. Oh, trying to take down Chain. He gets the injection off. He's just able to hold towards the corner right now as he just keeps on fighting through. And the rail will land, taking down Rafa eventually. That is really unfortunate. After the inject, it looks like Rafa missed a big chunk of shotgun damage. Unfortunately for him, he's still battling with 30 HP, trying to get that last rail. Chain wins out on the heavy with his life. But Rafa trying to stack back up to fight for this mega. Chain trying to get a cheeky little rocket through the grate, but no damage as Rafa very patient, waits it out. Still a three frag lead here for the Professor. Here's Chain, eats a rail going down to the heavy, needs to be careful. Nine seconds left to push with the LG. Is it gonna be enough? Swap to rockets, Chain nowhere to be found, needs to be careful, almost strafes into that one. My God, Jeff. Oh, mate. It's being left within an inch of their lives when they're getting into these fights at this point. It's absolutely ridiculous how close they've been. With just three rockets remaining for Chain here, he turns the corner towards the mega chamber. And he realizes that it's time to bail out and create some space between the both of them. He can't afford to get into a fight here as he will surely fall. Plays through the porter, still just evading and avoiding for now as he tries to keep on running. He makes it back over by Mega, but it's still down for another 10 seconds. Instead, Heavy's going to spawn in. Luckily, he has that injection. He can build himself a bit of a natural stack, but Rafa's stack is just worlds bigger than him. The fight right now getting kept so close and Rafa barely pulls out ahead. That was so close. That's incredible right now. And again, we see it time and time again. Rafa not afraid to deny that rail and make you think twice before you get it. Does concede so he can grab the Mega, but he's also going to get the Heavy out of it too. And I think Rafa will take that trade all day. Fortunately, that trade didn't go his way. He does eat a rail, but Heavy's right there to stack back up off of. And also has the trail back, so time ticking, four frags down. Chain needs to get something going. He will have inject shortly, so he could use that offensively or mid-fight as he tries to fight for this mega. Gives up position, drops off the bridge area, doesn't work his way back up the stairs. That's going to force Rafa out. Doesn't need to force the engagement. Again, has the lead, and he's going to be more than content to just hold on to it. Oh, dude. Seven minutes. There isn't much time here. And this is the final map in the series as well. This is do or die for Chain to see if he can deny the bonus points going towards Rafa. Or if Rafa's going to be walking out of here with all of the loot. He is indeed a bad boy. As he goes around the corner right now, Injection's forced out from Chain. He goes flying up the bounce pad and finally goes down. Chain, three frags difference between the both of them. There is enough time for him to get in to the forefront. And again, he just needs to keep on chasing, playing like he is right now with the utmost confidence. The rail will land, but he's low. It depends if he tries to go for the peak and he will punish, taking him down with the HMG. Kick flips over that last ditch effort from Rafa with the rail. Doing well to stack back up decently now as he could fight for this Mega. We'll be up shortly. Rafa might push this here. But nothing doing. He wants to keep the lead. He wants to get some guns so he can play defensive for the last two minutes. Chain again. All the pressure on him as the nails come flying in. Rafa trying to slowly make his way onto that 50, but a rail deletes it almost instantly. Inject for Chain up. Heavy in the pocket. Slow walking his way past. Keeping noise to a minimum. He knows that Mega's there, but does he realize that this is a trap? An elaborate ruse that was set up by Rafa to try and lampoon him in, but it won't matter as the roles have been reversed. Instead, it's Rafa that suffers the fate he was hoping to set up to spring onto Chain. He goes down, and we're back. A one frag difference between the two of them. The plasma trail dropped to try and deny the timing, but it won't matter as he sidesteps around Chain, keeping it so close, launches himself back up with a rocket jump. He needs to kill him here and now to tie the score line. They're both so low, and Rafa, he should surely come out on top, but no. Eventually, Chain does it. Finishes in with the MG as he slaps him about. It's 6-6 with the final 60 seconds left. Luckily for Chain, he does have the Mega, but he might have to concede the Heavy here. He's going to double back for the 50 shard. Heavy's still not taken. Oh, and Chain doesn't know. If only he knew he would have the greatest stack in the world going into this for potentially the tie-breaking frag here. 40 seconds left. Are they going to play for overtime? That rocket. So incredible from Rafa here. And that poor Heavy is just left unattended. Chain finally making his way down. Three seconds to the Mega. 
So items will be traded. And it looks like we might go into OT. There's never much love when you go OT 40. That's the issue. Here we go then. 6-6. Six, six. Sudden death is about to rear its ugly head round the corner. As there is only 10 seconds remaining. There's the warning shot. The instigator that causes Chain to backpedal out of there and waste time. He knows that the heavy's up in about four seconds, so he will just try and play for its spawn to give himself the biggest possible advantage going into what could very well be their final fight. And this decides who gets the additional points. If Rapper 3 0s or if it's a 2 1. Rapper turns the corner with the LG as the lightning starts to strike, tickling him from the rear. The chain just holds for you. Ooh, that rail just taking down the mohawk of chain on anarchy right now as we get 30 seconds into ot both players have to play this perfectly now nobody wants to commit to anything that's too risky they want that good opening damage chain's going to keep that inject in his pocket he definitely is going to want more rockets as he grabs some of those and now he should be ready to fight down by the lg and rafa's out of there immediately doesn't want to get cornered I'm pretty sure Chain heard that tally and immediately look back. The rocket will fly past Rafa. He's trying to deal some damage on this heavy. LG out for Chain. Good rail from Rafa, and that's going to be good enough for him, and he's going to back out off of it, try and get back to this Mega. Chain. Up the stairway. Back towards the Mega Spawn. Spots him with the rockets. Oh. Both of them hitting. Two beautiful directs and keeping Rafa relatively low. He was scoped on the angle as well, waiting for the push to come across because he couldn't advance. The plasma trail would keep him locked in position. And Rafa needs to try and build a stack off the back of this. Two rail opportunities there. From Chain down that hallway. Doesn't find the trigger. Doesn't find the shot on that one as we're inching closer to two minutes of sudden death. Tribolt flying over the wall, trying to find some information. Chain pushes off the rocket. The, re the rocket from uh, Rafa. The retaliation a little stronger now. Chain down to nine HP. Rafa pretty weak himself. Stack much, much better for Rafa. Chain somehow still alive. This is so dangerous right now. Could get caught out of T-Con. Oh man. This is so rough. Chain's essentially the one trying to just avoid at this point because the stack's so low. It won't take much for Rafa to finish him. He was landing the shots with the LG and keeping him far enough away, but it doesn't matter. Transitions to the shotgun. Takes him down with a buck shot to the face and Rafa wins it in sudden death with a one franc advantage, locking down the game on a seven to six scoreline, free owing the series. The float was not strong enough, dropping down, shotgun in hand, looking like Omar from the wire. The professor does it again. Clean sweep on his debut back. That was just a well-played set from Rafa. And also chain. Both like the games were very, very close. So the, nothing nothing to take away from chain at all no no it's still you know <laughs> so ridiculously hard to be able to actually take even maps off rafa at this point let alone entire series right so for it to be that close and have those nail biting games where it's like wow th this could have gone either way it was close enough where chain was at least keeping it basically down to the wire right that's still impressive absolutely absolutely yeah, it was good to witness. Uh, a lovely match, really. But in the end, Rafa, of course, does win it. 3-0, beating out Chain and taking the series win overall. Again, though, it's still good growth from Chain. We're seeing how well he can play. Some of the shots he was hitting was really good. He had some really great moments with a rail to be able to open up and get himself back into the game. Uh, just unfortunate it goes down like that in sudden death. Yeah, let's not forget, he was he was down, so he had to bring it yeah. back to 6v6. Kind of played that tic tac -y slow skateboard towards the middle of the Mega, the, the kind of jump attack onto Rafa to tie it up. So, again, you can't take anything away from Chain. He played great. It's just, at the end of the day, the professor's the professor. He is indeed. And uh, he professes to be a damn demigod at the game, and that's just what he is. Very well uh, performed there by Rafa. Playing his heart out once again. It's lovely to obviously just see him back in the league as well, for the, uh, finally competing once again. Yeah, definitely great to see him back. Um, really, really good. And I look forward to seeing him play more and more. Yeah.
and so that's what we've got to look forward to that is the end of the week though in terms of the games we had available to us with this one being the final closer to it all and rafa keeps himself nice and clean with a 3-0 so i'm sure when we eventually get to the standings before we shut down tonight's broadcast there'll probably be like a 200 point gap between anyone else and rafa which is uh you know always an interesting point to look at yeah and it's still never enough you know you can you can just tell by talking to him like he wants to make it five six seven hundred points and even that wouldn't be good enough no no he's not content unless he is you know taking that belt home of him at the end when the dust is settled and the brawl for the belt and he's got his name inscribed on it at QuakeCon. I, I don't think he's going to be happy that's what it's all about getting your name on that belt and as we grind closer and closer week by week we're going to see kind of how the brackets shape up and how they form. And uh, I'm looking forward to the Battle of the Belt in a couple of weeks, man. Yeah, dude. It's, you know, it's getting closer. Obviously, from what, 35 weeks ago, we have uh, we started our journey, obviously, with the actual weeks of competition we've had. Slowly been getting closer and closer. Already three stage finals have gone. Only one left to decide who actually gets it. It's crazy when you uh, you think about it. Obviously, the first time we saw that belt, it just had Kilson's name on it. Now there's his name on it twice <laughs> and cooler. Yeah, let's not forget Kilson's going for the three-peat. Yeah. There's, a, there's a lot of heaters in this league, man. They, they all want their name on that belt. Oh, definitely, definitely. There's so many names that even over the course of the competition that we you know we've been pointing out, like Razy still wants his shot, Cypher, obviously, you know, back with a vengeance. So many people that could swoop in there and snatch it. Absolutely, absolutely. I think it could be anyone's belt, but you got to get there week by week, and that's why every map counts. It does. It does. You can't afford to suffer those losses. You've got to keep it clean as possible. Obviously, if you're just joining us, unfortunately, you are a little bit late, but we can recap what has gone down. So let's get into the schedule and recap the games we've had over the course of tonight's broadcast and tell you some of the ones that really stuck out to us as we did have some banging games tonight. I mean, Razy kicked off the day with his with his gauntlet pop offs as always. No, it's effortless is always a pleasure. Again, we did have to skip over Dramas Genic. Dramas couldn't make it, but then we went into Cipher Tox, which is always a battle of legends. Cipher coming out on top, as you see the three O. Is there anything out of those first games that you kind of that sticks out in your mind, Jackie? Just the things Razy was doing in general were absolutely outrageous. But I suppose we don't really expect anything less from him. Um, it was cool to see how well Nosfa was playing as well. Had some good moments. Obviously, that huge comeback from Effortless was definitely a good one. That was a nice matchup. Uh, an Athena masterclass from him, really. Um, Cypher Tox. I suppose that whole series was quite enjoyable, to be honest with you. It was very back and forth, right? Like, it, it was close enough that it was a nail biter the entire time. Yeah, absolutely. And then we get into the kind of the second set of games we saw to hang and Dewey, Vanger Base, Kilson Cooler, and of course Rafa versus Chain. Kilson and Cooler, man, that that corrupted keep game. Kilson just pops off. If he gets rolling on corrupted keep, it is game over. If you look at the scoreline, 16 to 4, absolutely brutal. The Venger versus Base game, Blood Run. Base played his game, going straight into Awoken. Venger was like, nah, we're not playing it that way. Takes it back, takes that series 2 1 over Base. To hang in Dewey, I mean, shouts to Dewey, man. It's it's no small feat to take a series off to hang. So big shouts to Dewey for playing really well and earning that 2 1. And of course, as we just saw, Rafa with the clean sweep over Chain, but again, not to take anything away from Chain. If you look at those scores, really, really tight games. Yeah, no, it was the you know these four games we've got on here. They were the real meat and potatoes of the broadcast tonight. They were all absolutely star-studded performances, and it was wonderful to witness them all. Uh, witness them all. I suppose what we should do then, of course, is get into the standings and see how things are actually looking because some of the results we've had coming in have certainly been quite surprising, right? So. Uh, definitely going to be a, a case of how things are looking now for anyone that's wondering these are the standings going into tonight's show after this we'll look at the standings coming out of tonight's games of course for you so these are the standings from last week and still even then even last week rafa was still ahead by just a ludicrous amount of points that's what I mean. That's what I mean, dude. So you you got to factor in, right? The amount of points he would have got from that series win. He, he is going to be like 100 points ahead of Kilson still, which is, uh, it's crazy that it's that big of a gap between first and second. Yeah, and like I mentioned, never big enough. He just, he just wants like seven, 800, 900, 2,000 points. Let's take a look at the newer ones now, reflecting the games after today. And bam, Ooh. bam. Oh, dude, he's nearly <laughs> hit the 800 mark. 
That's, that's just crazy. That's just mad, isn't it? It's just only Rafa. Only Rafa in a league like this would you be able to almost build a 200-point lead against the opposition and just, just run away with things. I mean, safe to say that he's probably going to break, what, 900, 1,000? By the end of the... I mean, how many more weeks we another five got? weeks, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, unreal, man. Unreal. So, so wild. <laughs> But hey, shouts hey, to Zenaku as well. Let's not forget Master Zenaku. He's climbing his way up there, all right? Shouts to him. Mm-hmm. No, he's in a good spot, 17th. Obviously, the gap between him and Sparty and Co, right? He can start to push himself forward a little bit further. It's not too big of a, a divide between them. Obviously, Cypher now in fourth place as well. That's cool to see. It's good. I think he's moved up from sixth position. Um, obviously, only 30 points between him and DeHang. So the potential that he could actually swoop in and start to you know, take the, the wind under Hang's sails, really, if he if he keeps making mistakes. Yeah, the, the opportunity is always there. Like I said, every map counts. So you always have to try and get all the points you can because at the end of the day, once you hit that bracket stage, it means, you know, it could mean the difference between relegation or not. Yeah, no, that, that's literally what it comes down to. So uh, obviously, if you have any opportunities to get those extra points in whilst you can, whilst you're in the league, do so. Maximize it. But uh, in terms of everything else for the day, 40, uh, I think that is it. Obviously, you know, some, some fantastic matchups that we've had. It's been wonderful to be by your side once again. Unfortunately, we are uh, divided by an ocean, but I'm sure we'll be together soon. I hope so. I hope so. It's always a pleasure. Uh, big shouts to the production, Bethesda, everyone for putting this together, everyone at home for locking in. As always, if you haven't already, go follow Quake on Twitter. Go follow all the pros at Twitch and Twitter. And uh, if you like me and Jackie, why not drop us one too? But it's always a pleasure, man. Just, uh, just glad to be here and cast with you. It's always fun. No, it is. We do have a lot of fun together. It is always enjoyable. We uh, we have that same wavelength. We do enjoy a bit of a dad joke and an old school hip hop reference. So I hope everyone has enjoyed the show over the course of the day. As you said as well, we do have to give thanks to the amazing production, of course. Wouldn't be possible without the brilliant producer, Reese, that makes all of this happen. Thank you so much for everyone that has tuned in. There will be more Quake Pro League action going down here next week. Same time, same place. Keep it locked over on Twitter at Quake. And thank you for tuning in.